think your idea of the rain code. Does Blaze have one? <laughs> Blaze does not have a raincoat because Blaze does not go out when it rains. But that's a whole nother story, <laughs> Diva. I want to <laughs> I want to show you maybe some dogs that do go out in the rain, but also a dog, which is Sully, that was adopted seven years ago from Bark. So that's how I wanted to start this. This was sent in by Beth Forrester. You have Finn and Sully. They are so cute. Thank you so much for sending this in. And if you're taking them out for a walk today, if they'll go, Make sure you, again, you try to keep them dry, keep yourself dry, as we do have those temperatures as well that will be in the upper 60s to right around 70. So it's going to be a cool afternoon, that's for sure. In terms of what we're dealing with right now, well, we do have the rain out there still lingering. And since that's happening, we do have a an aerial flood warning for Anne Arundel County until nine o'clock this morning. So we're gonna to continue to monitor the potential and the concerns, I should say, for flooding as we move through the rest of today. So we start you out with uh, some showers out there this morning. We can see we will have some breaks in the action as we head towards the afternoon, but then more showers and thunderstorms is still firing, developing. As we look at Mount Airy, New Market, Woodbine, dealing with pockets of moderate rain across that area where you're seeing some yellow. Howard County around Columbia, Ellicott City, Elk Ridge around uh, Arrowhead, Waterloo, all dealing with some light rain showers coming in. And then we slide further off towards the south and we can see on the border there of Anne Arundel County. So western Anne Arundel County, that's where we're still dealing with that aerial flood warning going on because they're still dealing with that rain. That rain will continue as we go through the rest of today. Some heavier rain, moderate around Childs up towards Cecil County this morning. We're seeing this around Colonial Acres as well, Gilpin Manor, just to the north of Elkton. So grab the rain gear, no matter where you are, just grab that rain gear because if you're not getting wet right now, you could see more shower activity and thunderstorms as we head into the afternoon. This is what it looks like with the dew points. So the air trying to dry out a little bit. Again, we do have a change in direction of the wind. Uh, with that said, we are dealing more with an easterly flow as of now, and that is what's really going to keep us in the clouds and all the moisture that we're going to receive for today. Now, we're not as humid as we were yesterday, but it's still a little humid out there, so you still can feel that with those dew points in the mid to upper 60s. The temperatures in the mid to upper 60s as well, so wouldn't be surprised if we're actually getting a little bit of patchy fog out there this morning as well. So we have a little bit of everything. So future cat Again, picking up on more scattered showers and thunderstorms as we go into the afternoon. We'll do that all over again as we head into your tomorrow morning. So Saturday morning, we will have a few showers lingering. And then finally, we will start to dry things out and get some sunshine in here on your Saturday. Now let's go to check the traffic. <music>